right about um, day number six into isolation we're still working from home trying to get these food parcels out we do this Every, all year, every year, five years we've been doing it for, where we get to people in a crisis situation. Now it's totally, totally different. I've got lists of people that we need to get to. I'm struggling with drivers. A lot of my drivers are out of action uh, because they may be self-isolating or what have you not. So we're going out. I'm gonna, you're going to follow me, uh, see how people react over the phone and everything. Let's let's get it done. We need, we need to get to people, the people in emergency situation. People haven't got food, right? This is an insight of what happens during lockdown at the summer. Right, as you can see, face mask on. Just got to go and put my gloves under in the van. Uh, very difficult. I mean, because the, the whole sort of salmon food bank was based upon going to the doorstep, shaking someone's hand, giving them a hug and telling them they're not alone. And unfortunately, we have to now knock down and run, really. Right, in my vehicle, got my gloves on, fully protected, as much as I can be. So, en route to my first drop, let's go and do this. I'm going to give them a call, make sure they're there and... Uh, this is the Salma Food Bank volunteer driver. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. I'm, I'm on my way to you. I'll be with you in about 10 minutes. What's going to happen? Okay. We're going to leave the food downstairs and we'll yep. give you a call. You need, because there's no contact, you'll just have to come and get it from downstairs, okay, while we drive off. Okay, mine's the ground floor for anyway. Yeah. Hi there, I'm just going to leave your food outside. Can you Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to leave your food outside the front door, okay? And okay. Uh, I, 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 once I'm gone, then you can pick it up, all right? All right. All right, guys. Whew. Right, so just talking to the beneficiary. I'm going to get the food out. Okay. She's got two children with her. I'm going to drop them off outside the doorstep here. And drive away. Exactly what I said. It's like knock door to run. There's the food. She should be able to get it out. So I can go back to my vehicle. It's no contact. There you have it. Somebody's taking it in. Can you see? There you have it. We've been reduced down to leaving the bags on the doors, using PPE. Um, I would basically just um, do the whole thing that we never wanted to do, which was not have any human. Uh, human touch to this and the whole point of us setting up in the first place was that we wanted to talk to people we wanted to say to them listen you're not going to be alone and we can't really do that you know it's it's, it's literally this virus that just limited us to this i mean I'm, I'm one of the volunteers we have 750 volunteer drivers uh covering so many deliveries per day uh you know everybody keep safe uh just understand that this is important work this is this is a typical example this is a mom with two kids hasn't eaten for a day uh you know cannot get outside self-isolating and as always carrying watching the bearded bros and loving the salmon food bank